Hello everyone, I really hope you're all doing well. So today I'm gonna share and review the new Moleskine Pro Project Planner with you. This is a planner that Moleskine came out with fairly recent, I think early in 2020, and I've seen it online. A couple of subscribers asked me about it, so I got it and I thought I'd share it with you and show you what it's about and do a little flip through. So this planner is available in three sizes, the large, with which is this one, and then an X large and an A4. And the dimensions on this one are 5 inches by 8.25 inches or 13 by 21 centimeters. And it is 280H pages and has 70 GSM ivory colored paper, just like every other moleskin. And pretty much the same features, just like every other moleskin. It has a bookmark, but then instead of, sorry, an elastic strap, but then instead of one bookmark, it has actually three bookmarks right here as you can see there's the back typical moleskin logo it has a pocket in the back with um, the history of moleskin and these little stickers that are like silver and gray um, taupe colored I'd say not sure how to use those if you do please let me know and um, yeah let's take off the sleeve that it came with And then the sleeve has some instructions on how to use it, but quite frankly, I was a little confused with certain pages, how to make those work. I really wish Moleskin would have posted like a more in-depth tutorial, a little video or just an article and show some examples of how people use this project planner. All they have is a little like video on YouTube, but it doesn't really show you much about the planner. So. I really wish they would share more how to use it because I think it has a lot of really interesting features that can come in handy when you're trying to plan a new project. So typical Moleskin, you can put your name and address here. Um, there's your personal information, first page, and then it has a content list, which is really great, I think. And the planner is divided in three sections, planning, uh, inspiration, planning, and then logging so inspiration here planning and logging i really wish it was a dated planner it is not not i mean it, not dated it has page numbers because you could refer back to the page numbers in the planner and then make a little um index here for yourself with some notes in what you have on certain pages and it goes here first into inspiration can put down your long-term goals here and then um, the schedule and deadline and then a status and review and then mark off what you did and then here inspiring quotes of people one double page and then a world map Moleskine is really big on those world maps they have it in every planner and um, then we have key findings a double page dot grids make sure the camera picks this up there we go and another one for achievements. So that was the whole inspiration section where you can get motivated about the goal or project that you're trying to accomplish. And then it goes into the planning section of the planner. And here we have the yearly plan. And here I'm a little confused. It has um, 31 um, rows here. And I'm not sure to put, if this is like, it has 12 columns here. It's like probably January through December or whenever you choose to start using this planner. And then it has like this half-assed like column here in the middle. I really wish to have designed it that it just lines up here straight, you know, where the um, uh, notebook folds and not just have this like thing here in the middle, whatever. So anyways, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put here like the actual like tasks I have to do and there's like 31 rows for that or if it's like it's a column here for January and then it's like January 1st through 31st and then I can put down like as a yearly overall of you as a calendar what I do on every day of the year so not totally sure and then here it has a four month plan which makes a little more sense you have you know the first four months of your project and you can say you know January February March or whatever and then a little like overview up here what you're trying to accomplish and then it has uh, six of these so 12 in total for every month here and um, 
then it goes into the monthly plan here makes a little bit more sense i guess this is if you start january january 1st through 31st and then you can write down like every day of the month if you have important um, appointments or meetings or whatever and then you can write your goals here for the month and then you have a little section that's like you know free space to draw whatever you need to do that's dot grid and here you can mark off you know all the things you want to accomplish so you have of course 12 of those like 12 double pages which makes 24 in total um, okay and then it goes here into where is it the weekly plan so you have 104 pages of this 52 um, weeks on one double page makes 104 so here you have an overview for the weekly plan what you tried to do and then it goes monday tuesday wednesday you know through sunday and then you have up here you can mark things off and then you have a few more lines and a little bit of free space so it is a weekly planner um with a week on two pages and again it is undated so you can start using this whenever you want so i said you have 104 pages for this. Um, keep going here. And also notice that the lines in this planner are darker than in any Moleskine planner that I have used in the past. So I'm not sure why I decided to go darker with that one. I kind of like when the lines are a little bit lighter. But I guess everyone's different. Okay, where does this end? Just a second here. So here we go into the, so that was the planning section of the notebook. Now you go into the logging section. So again, here you have the project progress. Here you write down all your activities you have to do. Some notes here at the bottom. And then it says time here. I guess you can start with week one, two, three, and so forth. And then phase, I guess like the first phase of your project or the second phase. I'm not totally sure how to use that. And then how to mark it off. Um, I think with markers, like um, how far you've come. And then it has color codes down here um, on this little sleeve. It shows like different people working on the, the projects. So um, if you have several people working on a thing, you can assign colors to them and then, you know, mark who's working on what but I feel like most people that use this planner will work on projects mostly by themselves so again not sure how to use the color codes maybe you're more creative and can let me know I'm really curious I mean you can use them to mark off the different types of activities or what actual part of your project they relate to so I guess that's an option too and then we have 14 yeah 14 pages of the project progress and then we go into the notes section and here we have 88 pages of notes you can write the date here and then the highlights in here then you can recap down there and then you have the title of your project and then whatever you're brainstorming and working on and i think the sirens are just gonna come by but i'm not i don't want to start this video over again so i guess we just have to deal for a minute with the sirens i live on a really busy street so it happens quite frequently um so i guess you use you use this for um working in more detail on your actual stuff that you have to do for your project um as i said you have 88 pages of this let's keep going And I think this is quite useful because you have a whole section just for planning and then also a whole section where you can take notes on all the things you have to work on. So you don't need to have two separate journals for that. And it then here goes into the brainstorming section. We have 16 pages of brainstorming. You can put the tile up here and then it has little markings. You can um, separate the pages in thirds and it is dot grid paper here and then you can recap here at the bottom and as I said you have 16 of those and then it ends with uh, these lists with perforated pages that you can tear out and then you have 12 of those and 
Now I'm just going to show you my writing sample. Here we have pencil, ballpoint pen, um, paper, I'd say hybrid pen, two gel pens, two roller balls, and we have the fountain pen that you can see there is some feathering with the fountain pen quite a bit actually. So it's definitely not fountain pen friendly paper. And then in the back, there's pretty much a lot of ghosting with everything except for the pencil. And then we have bleed through with the roller balls and the fountain pen. So it's not the greatest paper in the world um, when it comes to, you know, fountain pen friendliness and wet, wetter inks and stuff. But I guess you're okay with a roller ball pen or a, a thinner gel pen if you don't mind the ghosting. So I think it's a really, really interesting planner that Moleskine came up with. I'm curious to try it out. As I said, I'm not sure how to use everything quite yet, but I like that it's two different sections of having a planner and as well as a section for the actual note taking and creative process um, because most planners are just like at a planner or um, just more of a notebook or you have a planner with like the dates on one side and then you have a double like a page for your creative stuff and your, your notes but then it's always just separated and this is, is like one section is the planner and the other section is just for the notes. Um, if you've used this before, please let me know how you've used it um, or how to use certain pages. I'm really curious. If you have any more questions, please feel free to leave me a comment as well. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more notebook videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.